everybody, it's Mama J. And Wingles the Elf. We're here with day 15. Almost there, 10 days away. 10 days away, but you know what today means? Being the 15th? What does today mean? A new giveaway. So, here's what the new giveaway will be. There are 12 days of Christmas. Heard the song? Uh, yep. I think everybody has, right? It's pretty hard not to anymore. <laughs> so, we will randomly show you one of the 12 days on the screen behind us throughout the video, kind of like we did with the reindeers. What is going to happen is we're not going to tell you two of the 12 days. They won't be in order because putting them in order would make it too easy. So, they will be in different order. You may get number 12 first, you may get number 12 fifth. You may get number one last. You may get number one sixth. You just have to keep track of them. One through twelve, but there will only be ten. And then you've got to tell me which two I did not tell you about. And you have to give her both. Yes, you have to tell me both. Not just one of them. I need to know the two that were missed. So, we're going to tell you what the twelve days of Christmas are. Alright, so on the first day of Christmas is a partridge in a pear tree. What that actually means, because each one of these statements actually stands for something. So a partridge in a pear tree technically stands for Jesus Christ. Did you know that? No, I did not. Did not. All right. The next one is two turtle doves. Do you know what that stands for? Nope. The two turtle doves stands for the Old and New Testament. Okay. All right. What's number three? Three French hens. Three French hens. Three French hens stands for three virtues. Faith, hope, and charity. <laughs> Next. Four calling birds. Four calling birds <laughs> stands for four gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Next. Five golden rings. <laughs> four, no, okay. Uh, first book of the Old Testament. It's the first five books of the Old Testament is what it stands for. All right, number six. Six geese and laying. Six days of creations before God rested on the seventh. Next. Seven swans are swimming. Seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So each one does have something that it's linked to. Next. Eight maids of milking. Which stands for the eight... Uh-oh, can't read the writing. <laughs> um, I believe it's... <laughs> Beatitudes? <laughs> I'm not sure. I kind of faded off there. All right, next. Nine ladies dancing. Nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. The tenth one was an apple. The tenth one was an apple? Okay. <laughs> ten lords of leaping. Stands for the ten commandments. Eleven pipers piping. Stands for eleven faithful disciples. Twelve drummers drumming. Twelve points of belief in the Apostle Creed. Did you know that? I did not. Those are pretty interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that either until I started looking them up. So again... 12 days. 12 days of Christmas. But we only have 10 days left. So we're only going to tell you 10 of the 12. Then you will have um, a, a week to send me the two missing days. And I need both of them with what number they are in order for you to be entered. So make sure you're writing them all down. Alright, so let's get to our advent calendars. Day 15. 15. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, and we got TN. Now, who is TN? Uh, he's a three eyed guy who originally 
was the bodyguard and caretaker of Lord Chaozu, who was an emperor, but now they're just a member of the Z Fighters, and is also believed to be an alien because of his third eye. Uh, okay. All right, so we've got to be on a new one by now. I'm sure Wally's over with, and we are on day 15. So let's see what we got for. Oh, for 15 it is onward. Oh, and I dropped him on his head, so he's downward. That's a little figure from onward, which is very cute. Ian Lightfoot. Very, very cute. Oh, I wonder if we'll get the dad, which will only be the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, right? We'll probably get his brother, Barry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure we'll probably get his brother, because there he is right there. But I'm thinking we might just get the dad's pants. I don't know. That would be funny. That would be funny. Oh, that looks like um, one of the cats from your fairy tale, or from Spectre's fairy tale thing. Yeah, kind of. All right, so mini mystery time. And it's my turn. It's your turn. Don't pee. Uh, gotta make sure I get my like hand. Like Spectre, cheat. Hashtag Wingles cheats. Uh, so I got Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy. He likes the ones you have to build. Puzzle eraser, and it's heavy. Yeah, I think there's a couple of them in there. They do come in little bags, and there are two different ones, so I'll put one together. Is there directions? Probably. There you go. So it's like four pieces. Really? Because I have more than four. I have way more than four. Holy mother. I have like a dozen. I don't have... And I have Gamora. There's a lot of work for an eraser. No kidding! And are these erasers that you would use? There's that one. I mean, they're really cool. Yeah, the face work on her is being erased off. <laughs> so those are really cool. So tell us what you think of those or if you've ever had them before. Um, so we got two of them here. They came in the package together and it was kind of heavy because these are heavy. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so we'll see you tomorrow on day 16. Bye guys!